there! My name is Vex, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, we rescued Zidane, and I think we need to go back this way, although I'm not entirely sure. I think there are two party members that we need to find. And also, the volume is extremely loud in my head, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn down my head volume. By that, I mean the uh, volume button on my headphones. I think we need to go back a little bit of ways to find our friends Vivi and... Was I wrong? Received Holy Mitre. Ooh, interesting. I thought we had to go back. Okay, I'm a little confused, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and go forward. There is a little Moogle here that we saved at. We just got the Holy Mitre, and I'm not sure what that is. Probably a weapon, but then again, I think we equipped our entire party with some decent weaponry now. So let's see if we can't find the Holy Mitre. Holy Mitre. It's not anywhere around here. It's... Aha! Holy hat! What a great description. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see if we equip that on Zidane. Well, we cannot. Okay, let's move on. There we go. Insomniac and Body Temp. It just says Holy Hat. Magic is increased. Spirit is increased. Defense is reduced by one, and then Magic Defense is increased a lot. So this is actually a really great hat. What do we have on? Yeah, let's go ahead and equip this on Dagger. She is very important. She keeps our party healthy. Moving right along, we could save just to save a little bit of time if we do have to go back, but nah, that is quite all right. Okay, so I'm not sure if there are any enemies here, any of the enemies that we had to fight with Zidane before. This looks like an interesting place, but nothing that we have to interact with, oddly enough. That's fine with me. Okay, let's wrap around a little bit. No, never mind, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, where is it trying to get me to go? Over this way? That goes back to where we just were, right? Unless that's a different area. I am not really sure what it's trying to get me to do. It seems like we've only got one entrance and exit. Hmm. Is there like a ladder I'm missing out on? If we get close to the edge. What is happening here? I can't seem to go anywhere. Okay. Well, let's head back over here, I suppose. I did think we were supposed to look for, uh... Yeah, we're supposed... Okay, so our party form, we have Zidane, Dagger, Steiner, and Freya. We don't have Amaranth, we don't have Vivi, we don't have Queena, we don't have Ico. But I thought there were only two. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see if we can't find something. Aha! You found a button, let's press it. Nothing else is really doing anything. 30 seconds to do what exactly? I'm not exactly sure, but the countdown is remaining. Oh, there it goes. Okay, what foul beast shall we have to destroy? Oh, the countdown is going down. Well, that's not good. Oh, these balls again. Ugh. Okay, Garnet, enter, uh, enter trance there. Wasn't really that helpful, in all honesty. Okay, what do we need to do here? Press it. Now things light up, and I thought we may have to hit each one before it dissipates. Looks like when we come into contact with a light, it spawns a monster. Maybe we have to find the right monster? Is that, is that what's happening? We haven't fought this thing before, I don't think. Okay, this might be it. Maybe the other two were balls? I have no clue, but let's take this thing down. Um, my entire party is dealing a ton of damage. This thing might have more defense, though. Yeah, so you can see... Steiner did around 2,500 or something. Virus fly. I don't know what that is. Let's pay close attention. No, not Garnet. Come on. Okay, that didn't do a lot. Cool. Let's use Cure on her. Cure Raw on her. Uh, honestly, and ironically, not really ironically, but Freya is dealing the most damage right now. I don't really know why. But I think we should be able to take down this Abaddon. I feel like we did fight this thing as as Zidane, I guess. But we should be able to take it down quite quick. Yes, indeed. Our party does an insane amount of damage right now, which is excellent. Why can't... Oh, Virus. That's right. It stops you from being able to get... Ooh, and we got an Abaddon card. We haven't been able to use the Abaddon cards too much. What is going on here? I don't know. I'm going to backtrack, though, and see if there's something else that we missed. It looks like we cannot go backwards. Or, it looks like once we go through that door, there's nothing else that we can do. So, we're going to go backwards a little bit of ways and see if there's anything in it, uh, anything at all that we can interact with other than the Moogle. 
I'm not really sure what I'm missing, to be honest. Just a lot of weird things here and there. And in the other room, we were only able to get the Holy Mitre. Okay, let me keep my eyes peeled. Yeah, there's just a throne. Can't even go around the throne. There's nothing to do here. So, it seems like we do have to interact with that little eye thing. The enemies are no match for us. We can't interact with these eyes, whatever these things are on the walls. And there are still enemies, it seems. Ooh, have we fought one of these before? This should be a Marlboro. I don't think we fought this. Yeah, a Marlboro. Yeah, these things exist in the more recent um, Final Fantasies as well, and they look the same, which is cool. I'm not really sure what this uh, what this enemy's thing is. Usually in the Final Fantasy games, at least the later ones, they seem to deal poise, uh, poison damage. Okay, let's see. Let's see how much health this thing has. You can see. Yeah, it, it does like poison damage. It does absorb damage. It's basically just a poisonous, gross monster. Although that is not a lot of damage, buddy. You are going to need far more damage than that in order to take down my party. Yeah, we. Uh, I feel like we're incredibly strong at the moment, which is crazy because I didn't even do a second of grinding, basically, this entire Let's Play. And I wonder if this game is just easier than normal Final Fantasy games or what. Okay, we might need to... Uh, let's go ahead and cure uh, Dagger because that virus is not letting her get any experience. I'm not sure what that would be. Venom and Poison. I don't think it's that. Darkness, Petrify, Gradual, Petrify, Trouble, no. Virus. Ah, there we go. That's what we need. Cool beans. Okay, I'm not really sure what's happening here, ladies and gentlemen, but we're, we're going to try one more time and just see if anything special happens. It seems like as soon as we activate this light, uh, we have a timer to do something. I'm not sure what. Let's just wait a little bit and see what happens. So the lights switch around. And as soon as we touch one, we go into uh, we go into a battle. I don't really know what's happening here. Okay, I actually I actually get it now. I actually get it now. Okay, I don't know why I didn't realize this before. We need to activate this and then just get through as quickly as possible uh, without running into these lights, which will obviously spawn an enemy. Now, it is hard because, as you can see, if you're, like, anywhere near one, it'll just happen. So, I'll see you guys when I get through this. It's gonna be tough. Okay, there we go. I got through it. Yeah, and then there, there's a bridge. Okay, cool. I, I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. That must be an excellent place to grind, by the way. That seems like you get a lot of experience there. And they're not hard at all. Uh, the most annoying thing are the little blue, or the little red balls. What is this thing? Current altitude 1, current heading 0, standard heading 1. Increase, decrease value. Uh, what? Okay, let's, how, how high does this go? Up to 5? Let's go 5, what does that do? Current altitude 1, current heading 4, standard heading, and then nothing. 4? So this thing rotates. I'm not sure what this is doing. It was at 1, though. Or was it at 0? I don't know, let's keep it at 5. I don't know what that's going to do just yet. Let's move on. It's rotating something. I'm sure it will let us, like, yeah, this, it'll rotate one of these main blocks here. Aha. Yeah. Okay, so we need to rotate that over. Although, how are we going to interact with it again? So, I don't know. It's not really showing, like, where this thing actually is looking. Uh, current altitude zero. So now it's on this level. Now that looks like it lines up. I, I really don't know what. Okay, that looks like it lines up, but I don't know if it's referring to the. Okay, it is referring to this one. Nice. Okay, now if we wrap around, where does that go? I don't know. This is so weird. Okay, but it looks like if we get on this, it will take us up. Now it's at a higher altitude, obviously, but what's the point of. We could have just gone around. I, okay. That's kind of odd. I'm sure we'll need it again, though. Okay, another Malboro there, but my party is leveling up like crazy. Um, wait. Why? Was this like this before? I guess it was. Okay, just, we'll continue upwards. I don't really know. Okay, looks like this is the part that we're going to be stuck on right around here. Okay. 
go up one floor? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, alright. That's not nearly as much of a puzzle as I thought it was going to be. Looks like we are going to miss out on one chest. Maybe. Um, that's okay unless we have another chance to get it. Uh, that is fine with me. I am totally fine with missing that chest. What is this? Go up one floor? No. Let's not miss this one because we could go down over here and see what's over here. What's this? Okay, this is really weird. We've got two teleporters, it seems. Oh, God, no. I hate stuff like this. Ugh. Oh, as a completionist, it's, it's the worst nightmare. This sort of thing is horrible. Okay, well, we've got teleporters all over the place. Pokemon had a lot of stuff like this. We're just... Constant different, like... Yeah, every now and then there's a Team Rocket or a Team whatever. Team... Whatever flavor the, the flavor of the month that existed... This one doesn't look too hard, though. Um, it is going to be difficult to get all of the items, though, it seems. we got some battle boots, though. Let's see what those are. Wait. Can Zane not wear boots? Oh, it's the accessory. That's right. Okay, uh, let's see what the battle boots are. Battle boots! Initiative, which I'm not sure. Probably we get to go first or something. Strength is reduced by one. Um, let's see, can anyone, can anyone equip those battle boots? Uh, we do know Bahamut now for dagger, so we should switch this out. Let's see. Battle boots, what do they do? Nope, can't learn anything, although it is a, uh, it is a buff to, to Garnet. Um, let's go for auto-regen, though, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, since we learned Bahamut. Okay, Steiner, Ribbon's too good, how about Rebirth Ring? Initiative, yeah, she can learn it, and HP plus 20%, which is good too, but I think we're close to learning Auto Life, so let's, well, we're not close, but let's earn, uh, let's learn Auto Life first. Okay, let's see. Let's go back this way. And then I think we need to go to the end here. There's obviously another chest down there, and another chest above us as well. All right, another Abaddon there, more virus. It's getting really annoying to like clean up these viruses, so maybe we'll just try to get to the end of at least this section here before we use any more remedies. Okay, we have not been to this level yet. Let's go over here. I'm not even gonna explore this place because honestly, stuff like this, places like these, I, I hate, I do not like. And uh, we're gonna miss out on some items, maybe some unique items, but that's okay. I feel like my party is extremely strong right now. I'm not having any troubles with any of these enemies whatsoever. All right, let's go ahead and use a uh, vaccine on Dagger. And then who might you be? You are Mazmi. I must have a letter for you. Yes, I do. Okay, what do we got? This is my first time using Magnet, and my first letter, Koopo. Hmm, what should I write about, Koopo? What the heck was that all about, Koopo? Let's see, do you have anything for me? What's Magnet? No, you do not. All right, let's use a tent. I still can't believe tents don't fully heal your party. That's so lame, man. Like, like in Chrono Trigger, shelters were amazing. All right, let's go ahead and save the game. We might have a boss fight coming up here. I would not be surprised. Like I said, I feel like we're incredibly strong, and Freya was the weakest link, and Freya is amazing! She did a crit in a battle that I'm gonna cut out that was like 9,500 damage. It was, yeah, so so I feel like we're super strong. All right, let's get out of here. Danger ahead, Koopo! Do you still wanna go on? Yes, I do. We got enough time for a boss battle, I think. There's the observatory. You told me you'd become my angel of death. But think for a moment. Isn't life death itself? It must kill other life forms to survive. Sometimes it even kills those with whom it shares blood. To live is to give meaning, yet one must take others' lives to survive. A mature civilization becomes aware of this paradox. Terra's souls will sleep until they forget such nonsense. They will begin a new life in a new dimension. It's a world in which life and death become one. That is the dimension in which we are meant to live, as beings that transcend life and death. Zidane, I'll ask you one more time. Who are you? You're a sad man, Garland. 
We know more than you. We're not perfect, but we have friends who help us. That is reason enough for us to live. I may not know who I really am, but that is my question alone to answer. We live not to forget our past, but to learn from it. We may be weak, but that's what makes us work together and help one another. Then show me! Lecture me again when you are on the verge of death. Oh, come on, dude! A two... Well, I guess I can't complain. Usually when it's like two bosses at once, I'm like, Come on, dude, you don't have enough power yourself, but... We have four people here, so... <laughs> That's cool, though. So someone unique, say, or whoever you have in your party says something different each time, so that's cool. Okay, what do we have here? Silver Dragon. Aerial Slash. Let's see what that does. Uh, what? Okay, I couldn't really see the numbers there. Physical damage does attack, which is great. We're going to use Rice's Wind. Claw does... Eh, eh. So far, it's not doing too much. I feel like we're unstoppable, though. I feel like this thing cannot kill us. I feel like it's going to be impossible for it. Because uh, we're going to keep attacking. And we're going to have Rice's Wind, which is going to give us some regeneration. Um, Steiner and Zidane do a ton of damage. So does Freya. And then we can just keep curing ourselves as we're regenerating. Look at that. This is OP as heck. And trust me, I, I know it's probably not... I, I know it's obvious, probably, um, but I did not do any research as to, like, the, the best type of party members or the best format or whatever you want to call it. Wow, this thing does no damage! And we have cure- and we have, uh, counterattacks, too. Yeah, I, I did not do any research or anything. I, I just made this party because these are the characters that I like, and I, I felt like it was a good party. And, and I just feel like we're unstoppable at this point, you know? Uh, the only weaknesses that we've had is when, um, our party was forced to split up, but look at this! We have so much mana, we're not even gonna run out of mana? Just keep attacking over? This thing does no damage to us. I feel like this is too easy, though. I feel like something harder is going to, to jump up here any second. Look at that! Yeah, that was way too easy. Oh, I remember... I think I remember this, actually. You better do something, Silver Dragon, because whatever you got going on right now is not going to cut it. Alright, see you later. <laughs> Easiest boss fight ever. Oh my gosh. 13 AP for everybody. Very nice. Wing Edge. No thanks. Don't need that. Garland, tell me. What is it that you want to accomplish? The restoration of Terra. Isn't it obvious? No. That's what the people of Terra want. Why aren't you asleep with the rest of them? I was created to oversee Terra. I exist to wait for a time when this world is without life or death. I am the absolute controller of this planet. And now we have a boss fight against Garland. It looks like the true boss fight is happening. We've got real boss fight music going on right now, but... I don't know. That Silver Dragon was not difficult whatsoever, so I don't know how Garland's going to be any different. But I guess we shall see. Let's use Cure on. Everybody's going to use Stop on Steiner, which is which should actually stop him. Oh, no, he guarded. Okay, cool. Oh, we're going to use Rice's Wind, even though we really don't need it, honestly. But that regeneration is powerful. Looks like it scales, because it's, it's regenerating, like, two to 300 for each of our party members. Wow, 5,000 damage. Okay, that's a lot. And almost 5,000 for Steiner as well. Yeah, I don't see how Garland can beat us. Uh, he's probably going to have some sort of stupid, like... Okay, let's go ahead and use Rama, I suppose. We'll keep attacking. Stop stopping my party members. Let's see, does that actually stop? Nope, missed. <laughs> you better have some better tricks up your sleeve there, Garland, because uh, your stop's not really working out so well. Go ahead and do the thing that every every boss character uses. Go ahead and use... Go ahead and use... Oh, wow, that does nothing. <laughs> nice, that, nice try, Garland. That, that's decent try there. Go ahead and use a uh, death, some form of death. It's the only it's the only way that you stupid bosses can do anything to my party. Go ahead. What do you got? Death? What, 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 what are you doing? What, what, what's going on? Wave. Okay. What's that do? Let's see. Hit Sedane for nothing. Wow, you suck, Garland. Wow. You were supposed to be like the ultimate bad du dude. Oh, God. Zidane's almost a trance too, but uh, dude, you better hurry. You better, you better put on your big boy shoes, man. Because I'm telling you, this. Not gonna work out for you, Garland. Or you better have a. Oh my God! Ten thousand damage critical. Yeah, we're we're. Uh, I don't know how this happened, but it seems like my party just went through a crazy, crazy power spike. Uh, how much does this do? Big effect. Big effect. It's gotta be a lot, right? <laughs> Are you serious, guys? 
Garland? <laughs> you serious, man? Oh, dude. Oh, no. Oh. My cure does more than. Oh, you're dead. Well, probably not dead, but you're done. Ugh. Okay, I hate to be so cocky, but that was just way too easy. You fight well. Yes, I do. And I know this is anticlimactic, but I don't know how long this is going to last. These Final Fantasy games, man, if I do one normal episode, you know, it could go on to like 50 minutes with the cutscenes and everything like that. So we are going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. We will see the culmination of all of this in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hate to cut it off this abruptly, but I have been extremely busy. I've got some... Um, for the other channel that I reference every now and then, a VR company sent me a big one. Well, I'll just say Oculus. They sent me uh, an Oculus Rift package, and I have to get started on setting up and being able to record the games that they've sent me. So, uh, yes, I'm very, I'm on a very tight schedule right now. I would gladly let this go on like those other uh, lengthy Final Fantasy episodes that we've done. But I am going to have to end it here. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.